If I told you it's been a year since I've done a recording for this series, would you believe me? Because I certainly would not at all. My name is Brian Saviato, Bricks O'Brien. Welcome to the vault. Welcome back to the vault, I should say. And it's a it's a new year, dude. Oh my goodness. Well, I I wanted to do more of these because I I've missed this and I've wanted to do that thing I do where I'm like just rambling about life and existence and things because I, I don't you know I get a chance to. Okay, okay. I get a chance to do it, but not as often as I'd possibly like to. So one of the things that I wanted to change for 2023 is this thing that I'm doing right here. You see how I'm punching in like this? Bah! Just going like this, and I'm like, ooh, look at me right in the eyes. Come on, right, right, right here? That thing, yeah. That's not happening in post-production. That's just me doing that at the flick of a switch just like that. So that's pretty snazzy. That's a new thing I want to introduce for all my videos going forward because it adds more uh uh emphasis more emphasis to what i say and it captures your attention a little bit more not that what i'm doing already isn't interesting but whatever so the vault it's a series that i haven't uh come back to it feels like yesterday dude it feels like yesterday all these things that i got going on over here this weird looking bug thing i want to re wait is this off no it's not i thought it was off I want to reestablish everything that I've done in the vault and get a better vision of what I want this thing to be going forward because I, I love this area. I love what I'm doing here and I want to refine it even more, all right? I've had, obviously, a lot of time to think about all these things. Uh, sometimes, I guess, it'll happen. I'm just like, boop, there we go. I've, I've had a, a little bit of time to think about all the things that I want to do. I realized way a while ago, I'm like, hey, you know, what if I move everything down toward that way and make it a whole big thing uh probably not gonna do that anymore because i want this pillar right here to be the centerpiece of the entire thing which means i gotta shift a couple things around so i need to take the villagers i think that was the last thing i tried to do i tried to take the villagers over here and transport them through the nether and that was going to be a process so i i didn't do that i i geared myself up for it but i didn't do it so i'm just slacking behind the ball so the villagers and every bit of existence with this world, I want to revolve around this column going all the way down because I've already dug all the way down toward here. I got all this stuff going on, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I don't like the fact that I'm crawling up these stairs like this. I want to I want to reevaluate a lot of the things I want to do. But before that, I need to reacquaint myself with the environment because I honestly forgot about all the things that I need to do. And I just, I just got to be better about it. So I haven't played since the deep dark update and there's another update on the way that i haven't even played and i haven't recorded on video so i don't even know if this i don't i don't know if anything works there's a weather out here somewhere man i don't know i don't know but allow me to go uh, first thing i want to do is go into the nether because i know that okay okay that's a problem i want to go into the nether and figure out what the situation is with the railway for me to get the villagers from point A to point B. I also know I can transport them via boats, but I feel like that's going to be a massive problem, so I don't necessarily want to do that. It looks like the, uh, what's it called? The railways are going to be the way here. I also built this. Did I show this on camera? I don't, I don't remember, but it's, it's a giant. You might say, Brian, why'd you, why'd you build this? Well, the idea was that this was gonna go all the way up to the tippity top and then be like a rail system to go all the way down. Probably not gonna do anything with it. So I'm just a big Goomba, but whatever, it's there. So maybe I'll use it one day, probably not. I don't know, meow meow. Where's the nether, over here? Yes, I think over here. It's literally been, it's been a long time. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do, yes. I wanted to fling the villagers into here using the power. This is so, it's so janky. It's so janky, all the things that I've done. I got nothing over here, right? Where's, where's Kadoodle the chicken, Brian? Where's Kadoodle the chicken? Literally almost a year ago to the day. It's January 30th, 2023, the day that I'm recording this. So that's how you know how old it is. Wow. Wowee, Batman. That's got to change, man. I got to get on the ball. Where's Kadoodle? Did I kill Kadoodle? Kadoodle? Okay, we might need to do Kadoodle 2. Like, ca like Cock Kadoodle 2. Get it? Oh, that looks kind of weird. Hold on. Can I do something here? Yeah, there we go. Got to set reset the lighting. Uh, also, what I want to do, I know I lost a sword. Don't ask me how. No idea. But I want to get a new netherite sword. 
I don't think I have any netherite on me. I'm literally just reevaluating where I'm at. So if you're like Brian, this isn't like super engaging stuff. What are you what are you doing for this? I don't it's my entire career. It's my entire I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we're gonna figure it out. That's what you do in life. You sit back, reflect on what you've done, and just figure it out. That that's what I'm doing here today. All right. So new rule. New rule. I'm already I'm already back into it, reintroducing a new rule. I want to have one of every netherite item on me at any given point in order for me to be on the tippity overworld, right? So I'm missing a sword, therefore I can't explore, I can't go up to the overworld because radiation, the vault, you get it? All right, so I'm supposed to have one of everything on me at any, any given time. So I'm clearly missing a sword, totally forgot how, so that's going to be one of the first things I'm going to do. So that way I'm qualified going back up to the surface. So uh, you might say, Brian... What on this green earth have you been doing for so long in life? Uh, all the things, man. No, no, hey, I released a book. I'm a published children's book author. That's pretty incredible. But on top of all that, man, it's been a lot of little things in life, man. All It's all the little things that I've been ignoring for several months, maybe even like a year or more. And I've just kind of been, I've been tending to the guard. Oh, uh, that's your trouble, actually. Nope. Oh, yeah, especially with that shield situation here. I forgot the rhythm. Okay. I've, I I lost my rhythm, but I got it. So it's all the little things that I've forgotten about in a year-long period and wanted to adjust but never dedicated the brain space to doing. And you might say, what on earth does that even mean? What I mean by that, yes, I know it can fly. Don't even tempt me. But what I mean by that is that there's all these, actually, why am I going this way? I need to go underneath. I need to go underneath and get netherite. I'm going the wrong way. See? Lost track of time. See, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing, man. In life, you'll go through situations where you have to refill. You have to recharge, just like I am to my pickaxe right here. See how? Can, can we? <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, you, you got to recharge yourself. You got to refill yourself, your spirit, your mind, your body, your everything. And what I've been recording videos for years and years and years and years, like a very, very, very long time. And I take a lot of pride in not needing to take a hiatus or away from doing stuff because I'd like to think, even if, even if you might think, Brian, you're the most least balanced person I've ever met in my life. How do you possibly can justify like take not taking breaks and doing stuff? You got to take care of yourself, man. Like... That's what I've been doing. I've been trying to dial back a little bit for the betterment of my future because there's so many ideas and things that I want to do in life, like really meaningful, awesome things. And I can't do those to the best of my capacity unless I'm feeling good. And not that I haven't been feeling good, but I could be feeling better if I took the time for myself to recharge a little bit. So... That's the moral of the lesson here, man. You have to take the time for yourself ahead of when you feel like you're going to be burning out or doing whatever so you can be your better self when the opportunity rises. Holy uh, lava, Batman. That's a lot of lava. So that's what I've been doing. And that's not to say your problem, actually. Hold on. Whoa, hold on. I forgot. Oh, why am I doing this? Just do this. There we go. Mr. O'Brien's got to think. Uh, that doesn't mean that I haven't been doing stuff, man. Like, okay, hold on. Hold on. Pause. Pause. Pa not actually pause, but, like, kind of pause. Um, I haven't actually done survival in a long time. That's part of the issue. Um, survival in Minecraft have not been uh, two things I've taken a lot of pride in or have focused on because I've actually been working on my own Minecraft server. I do, I do have a Minecraft server, in case you didn't know, man. That is one of the uh, long-term things that I've been working on. Actually, around this time last year, that, that's what I was focusing on in lieu of doing more of this survival series was working on uh, Brick City Crafters, my Minecraft server, because I wanted to do that as a thing in general and then present that to all of you as a, as a place to, like, hang out and mine and survive and build in creative mode and all the things that you know about in Minecraft, right? So I've wanted to do that for a long time. And I finally found someone that, like, can help me with the server and figure things out. And it's a massive project. It's a massive undertaking. Even when you have people that know exactly what they're doing, 
it's a massive undertaking. So the person that's helping me is a gentleman named Kendrasite. He's also a content creator for all ages. He does a lot of live things. He does, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. He's a father of two. He's a husband. So, like, he's got a lot of stuff going on. He does his own stuff, like, you know, with content, whatever. But he is somebody who has done Minecraft servers for, like, years. And he has so many servers of his own that he's like, hey, you know, I actually can build other people's servers and I can do stuff. And I'm like, that's pretty snazzy. So what if I wanted to do a Brick Soul Brian Minecraft server? What would that look like? Like, what features would it have? And how would I get people to play on it? And whatever, right? That's sort of... Actually, am I doing this wrong? No. I Well, strip mining. I can, I can strip mine this way. I mean, I can also dig this stuff out, right? I mean, this is, this is part of what I can do. Uh, the nether over here is still generated the same. It hasn't changed, I think, in the newest update, so I think this is fine for me to do. So, I commissioned him to build out my server and, and give me a little bit of guidance on plugins, which is something I haven't experimented with in single player or really in general because it's, it's super complicated and it isn't something that, like, I have always found value in, I guess, because I like having the authentic vanilla Minecraft experience, but plugins basically allow you to do things in your server that you wouldn't otherwise be able to do in uh, in your survival world or whatever, in, in like vanilla Minecraft. And it just makes for a better experience when people are doing stuff, you know? So there's a plugin, which is like a thing that I install on my end. So it's not something that you install like a mod, it's something I install to make it a better Minecraft experience for all of you that play on the server. So a plugin is something that you can download. It's for free or sometimes it's paid, but it, it is essentially enhances that experience. So there's like a plugin where you can view uh, images on a server, which you might think, Brian, that's a very basic thing, but like that's just a little thing I can do to make the experience a little bit better. But I don't know how to do any of that stuff, which is why I was always looking for somebody to help me out, which is what Kendrasite does. So he helps me with that, but man, trying to keep everybody moderated and keep things flowing. And then if something updates and breaks, and then how do I fix that? And I don't want to bug Ken. And obviously he has all this um, stuff going on. Like I said, he's a dad. Like, I, I don't want to bug him with his stuff. So like, you know, I try to, oh, there we go. I got a little, a little, a little bit, a little bit over here. That's a problem, but hey, meow, meow. Um, I try to not bug him as often as I can, which is still fairly often, but, like, I don't want to be totally helpless. But with this stuff, I felt totally helpless, and I wanted to go into a new endeavor and see if it would work out. And when people are enjoying the server, man, people are having a really good time. And I'm very grateful that people want to spend their time on the server. Like, it's not a, it's not a, pre, it's not a paid thing. I, I, you know, I emphasize that a lot. Like, people are not paying to be on the server. It's just like a, a it's a free thing that I do because I want people to enjoy it, you know? So I offer it up to whoever wants to, and I try to keep it as uh, moderated as I can. And I have some people that help me out, and it works out really nicely. So that is one of the newest things that I've done that was way more of a challenge than I really honestly thought it would be. Um, I don't know why I thought it wouldn't be as big of a challenge, but it totally was. So when you're doing a lot of things like a Minecraft server, and it can be anything else in life, right? Like, I have also the book, Pro Gamer's Guide to Healthy Habits, my children's book, right? You have that sort of thing, too, and that's a whole different can of worms that you have to give the time and attention to, because if you don't, then it falls by the wayside, and, you know, that's a, that's a book I really, really believe in, and people have responded overwhelmingly positively to, so I want to make sure that I'm giving that my fullest effort, and, you know, you can't do that while well, you have all these other things going on. So something, something has to give out for a little while at some point. Like, not forever, but something's got to give out at some point so you can focus on the things that truly matter. That's what normally happens with people, you know, when they have a kid, or they get married, or they buy a house, or something like that, right? But in, in my case here, the stakes are nowhere near that big. Not quite yet. You never know when Mrs. Wright will, you know, pop around. But for now... It's just a matter of uh, not getting to as many videos as I want to because I'm working on all these other projects. But one of the things that I've said to myself for 2023, uh, made known publicly across basically everywhere, is like, you know, this is all really cool. This is Where did these come from? They've been sitting here for months? All right. So I don't know where these came from. Oh, the, oh, them, the Hoglands. 
the Poglins? I don't know. Whatever. What I forget what they're called. The Piglins. The Piglins. The Wiggly Piglins. Yes. So, I gotta make sure that I prioritize the things that people most want from me. Part of that is Minecraft, especially in a series like this. So, there will be more Minecraft. There will be more videos. There will be more everything. It just takes a while to get back into the rhythm of things and, and give the time and attention to the things you want to in life, you know? It is not because I don't like it any less. It's not because I, you know, uh, take for granted the people that do watch my videos and you know, I don't like none of that. It's just, it's none of that energy. It's literally just tending to the things that I've needed to for so long, but I've ignored because I was so busy with all these other things. And I've luckily eliminated a lot of those other things from my docket. So that way I can make more of the stuff that you all know and appreciate me for. So been watching for like all this time for five plus years whatever it's been thank you obviously for dealing with all the nonsense good bad or otherwise over all these years and i'm you know i'm approaching five years as bricks o'brien in july that's a a massive milestone as a creator and i normally do not celebrate anniversaries or anything like that so i am going to be making a massive deal of it you know, a lot of people celebrate like, hey, I got this amount of followers on this platform. I did this. I did that. Right. I do not normally do that because I'm generally focused on just, you know, keeping doing my thing. Right. But the big milestones like an anniversary, um, it's usually anniversaries I haven't actually celebrated before. It's mostly been my birthday, to be honest with you. It's been my birthday as the main thing. The Bob Bonanza. Hey, look at that. Nice. I'm uh, one away. Right. I think I'm one away. Yeah, it's Yes. No. I just got three, didn't I? What? There was a third. I definitely got a third, right? I don't know. Whatever. That's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine, right? It's not... That, it's, not, it's not hidden in there? No? Is it in here? No? Am I... Am I hallucinating? Am I I'm already hallucinating, dude? Okay. Uh, more of the story... There's going to be a return back to doing more videos consistently, and it's going to be videos when I have the energy, when I'm I'm here for it. You know, I'm not sick or anything, thankfully. It's just, it's a lot of stuff to do at any given time, and I want to be sure I give attention to the things I want to. So, yeah, five-year anniversary is going to happen this July. I plan on going not just big, but going massive for it. So if you are a fan of who I am and what I do, which if you're watching this video, it's highly likely you are, unless you just don't like my existence and you're like, I want to see Brian fail, which you could, then you're probably gearing for me to do some cool things. And I promise you, uh, I will do everything in my power to keep doing those cool things so long as you all support me. And, oh, I nearly just fell and fainted. All right, cool. Um, and, and you have for a very long time, at least for five years, so... As long as that doesn't change, it's only it's only up from here. So whether it's me uh, looking for netherite aimlessly, talking about whatever's going on in life, or whatever other things are on the docket. Hey, look at that. Oh, nope. That's not what I want. I want this. Thank you. Uh, that was, oh, three. Nope, just two. Okay, that's fine. Uh, right on cue, though, so that's cool. So as long as that happens, then uh, we're, we're good to go, man. It's all good. So... I'm excited for it. I hope that you are too. Uh, I am going to go back to the surface and do the thing. Now you might say, Brian, where are you? I have no idea. So I'm going to, you might say, Brian, where on earth are you? No idea. So we're, oh, actually, I know exactly where I am. Look at that. So me doing those things in the middle there, I was getting all those pieces of netherite in the middle. You're not, you don't have to do that. I wanted to do that because I eventually want to clear out this whole section here and provided that my uh mending pickaxe isn't going to run out which it, it's not statistically speaking then um it's going to be totally fine so i also by the way i took off the bobbing because i feel like that's kind of a distraction with minecraft videos i could be wrong i've been trying to do a lot of like what other people are doing and not like copy them because that's not the point it's about taking what they do interpreting it for my stuff and bringing that to all of you so that's kind of what i'm doing so I see people not doing the bobbing. I'm like, all right, I'm not, I'm not going to be a bobber. I'm, I'm Bob, like B-O-B, -B, Bricks O'Brien, but I'm not, a, I'm not a bobber, you know? So, and doing like that little, little 
jump cut thing like that, like that's a, that's the simplest thing in the multiverse. So there's literally no reason why I can't be doing more stuff like that. So that's my plan. Uh, I also have zero recollection on uh, any books. Well, I accept my book, but you know, any other book uh, like mending or otherwise, I have no idea where we're at. Not a, not a single clue at all. Do I have anything to burn this with? I got Axel. Is that Declan? Declan, the axolotl is still here and I haven't named him. Wow. Okay. So I'm clearly uh, behind the eight ball here. Got to make the axolotl pin. Also, I was, I was in the process of looking at what I was uh, doing for like videos or whatnot and uploading them across the multiverse, right? And I saw, I was going back through 101 things in Minecraft and I saw that uh, D'Angelo passed away, man. D'Angelo passed away. That was a sad moment. You know what I'm talking about, man? That was when my horse died, when I was in creative mode, like a Goomba. I didn't need to be in creative mode. I was just being lazy is what I was being, man. But uh, that is a thing that happened a long time ago. Like at this, at this point, what, three years ago that D'Angelo sadly pa passed away? D'Angelo, not a person. D'Angelo's not a person. He was my uh, black horse in gold armor. And he passed away after I was uh, burning down a woodland mansion out of aggravation. No, I'm sorry. I was looting a uh, mansion. And then I was like, man, this mansion's dumb. There's no loot. There's no nothing in here. And then as I was in creative mode, uh, I accidentally killed him. When I tried to lift him up into the air, instead of trying to uh, just ride my horse, D'Angelo, back to society. Because I'm on that big Goomba energy. So... Nobody's perfect, right? That's what we can establish. Nobody's perfect, but uh, definitely not me in that moment either, man. So, you know, hey, it, it happens. I don't want to say it happens to the best of us because it definitely doesn't, but it does happen to some of us. So uh, that's something that I'm going to avoid. I know I keep saying every single time I'm not going to do creative mode and I somehow keep getting back to it. I really don't want to. I've been in creative mode working on that Minecraft server for 75,000 years and I feel like I don't need to do that. So that'll uh, be something I try my very hardest not to do. I don't really see a reason for me to do that. So I'm going to figure out what works best and keep on me on it out from there. I, You know what? The side tangent, an issue, this, I love this storage room. I really do what I really really don't like is that it's not centrally located with all the stuff, right? So like if I want this tower to be like the center point of the whole ordeal here, like going all the way down and all the life of this area is is surrounded by this underground tower, you know, this vault style thing. Like these these chickens have been here for 7,000 years. And why are they clustered in the, you see how they're clustered in the corner like this? Why? Why? Like... So like I wanna I wanna like adjust these things. I don't want this. I don't want this anymore, right? I, I I'm I'm over it. But I really like what this is over here. I don't like this entrance, obviously. This entrance is garbage. But like this in here, I spent a long time doing this, man. This is this is snazzy. It's real snazzy. Ooh, what's in here? I forget. Is this a good one? It better be. Uh, is this? Ooh, that is snazzy. Yeah, let's do. Let's move with that. Um, they've added all sorts of music discs and stuff with the new update. That is something I want to do is a deep dock. The deep dock, kid. I want to I wanna do that. Where is my uh, da, 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 ba, 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 thing? Over here? Yes. There we go. Gold? Oh, I conveniently needed that, right? Here? Don't tell me I forgot. Wait. Hold on. Pause. I know what to do. Don't actually pause because I don't, I don't need to actually pause. You just need to go over here. Uh, this... This. How do I? Oh. I got it. See, it's it's been a minute, but I got it. Okay. Uh, sword, ingot, bam. All right. So I don't need it enchanted, but I need mending on that, and that, not that, but definitely on this stuff. So that's a, a good step in the right direction, man. Getting reacquainted with the vault. One of my priorities for 2023, going to build this whole bad Larry out and make a whole big thing of it. So thank you for joining me for this one. It's going to be spicy, but until then, bye.